Welcome to Needle Felting 101. What are the bare essentials that you need to start felting? My name is Philippa and I am a needle felting artist and I have been felting for about five years. My favourite things to felt are sheep, cows and horses. Let me show you them. With the horses, people send me pictures of their horses and I try and recreate it. I also do horses' heads. Uh, this is a, a longhorn cow. I do highland cow heads that you can put on the wall. This is a little sitting highland cow. And then there's some of my sheep. This one's a valet black nose. I even did one that was bigger than my dog. So what are the bare essentials, the absolute basics that you need to start felting and for a really good price too? First off, you need a mat. You cannot needle felt without a mat because you will break your needles. You cannot let the needle hit your table and you cannot felt in the air and you cannot hold it in your hand because you will hurt yourself. I promise you that. So this is a foam mat. It's really not too expensive, about five pounds or about ten dollars. And it's definitely great if you're a beginner. It will last you if you do quite a bit of felting, probably about four, five or six months but it's great for a starter. The next thing you're gonna need is a needle. I will show you one close up now. This is a needle felting needle and it is not a sewing needle. It is very, very different. Can you see those notches at the end? They are called barbs and they are what drive the wool in and mat it together. And without these, you wouldn't be able to felt. It has a very sharp point and it is in the shape the whole needle is in the shape of a triangle. So this is called a 38, that is the size of it, 38 gauge triangular needle. And it's a fantastic beginner needle. It's what you would should get if you want to give needle felting a go. So you've got your mat and your needle. What else do you need? You need your wool. I always recommend starting with carded wool. This is wool that is all meshed up and mixed up together. The word you need to look for when you buy the wool is carded because that way it's a lot easier for you to felt. If you get a wool that is called a tops or a roving type wool, it will work. You can do it, but it will take you longer to felt. And as a beginner, it can be really frustrating. Let me show you the difference between the two. So this is carded wool. If I pull it apart a little bit, you can see that all the fibres are going in all different directions and it is all meshed up. And this is what makes it a lot easier to felt with. So carded wool. If I show you, this is a tops or sometimes in America, it is called a roving type wool. And if we look at the end here, it's all in one direction. It's almost a bit like hair. And this is what makes it harder to felt because the needle will slip between the fibres and not mesh it all up together. So this is the tops or roving and this is the carded and I really recommend you go for the carded. So you've got your mat, your needle and your wools and you can start practicing shapes. I have a really good beginner video to lead you through the basic first few shapes which I will list at the end. I do recommend that if you want to start or try needle felting, it's probably good to get a kit with something you want to make. It could be a little bird, it could be a hedgehog, it could be a fox. Make sure it's a beginner kit. And then you will get the mat and the needle and the walls you need for that particular item all included and some instructions too. I have some excellent videos all about different walls, different needles, and different mats and tools and then I have absolutely loads of free tutorials if you want to sort of have a look at them and see what you think. So the bare essentials are you need a mat, a needle and the correct wool and you should be fine to give it a go. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.